Hi everybody, I'm Rachel K. Collier. I've got my Roland MC707 here and a few other goodies in my bag. I'm gonna go and find somewhere cool in this field to play you a new track. Let's go.
So I hope you enjoyed that little performance guys. I'm heading back to the house now where I'm staying in this isolation period and uh, yeah I'm going to break down the performance for you there because I was going to do it in the woods but the farmer was getting a bit vigorous with a shotgun and yeah thought it was probably safer to leave and yeah so I'm going to break down performance and also there's a 707 update out today so I'm going to show you some of the little tricks that I used from the new update and yeah just basically have a nerd out so keep watching and I'll see you back at the studio. Okay, cool. So let's look now at the 707 itself and how I built and put this performance together. Should I teach you how to use the 707? Do you want to learn? It's quite easy. So yeah, it was really, really fun. It's a mixture of like drum tracks and uh, two tone tracks from the 707 itself. And uh, main, most of the sounds uh, were the 707 inbuilt sounds, but some, there were a couple of samples Especially like my uh, vocal vocal samples, which you'll definitely recognise as uh, being me, and that I imported into the 707, which is really easy to do just with an SD card. It's eight tracks all together, and the performance really, I just build up the tracks, and then um, there's a different pad mode here, the mute pad mode, where I just basically do the arrangement by unmuting and uh, re-muting the parts, basically. So I'm going to break it down for you now, guys, so you understand exactly what's going on. One of the things with the workflow is too important to remember is uh, the measure here. So when you like record a clip, um, you kind of set the the amount of like bars you want to do first. So um, yeah, so nice and easy. This little sample here is a sample from I don't know where some random sample that I've got. Uh, maybe from like my album sample pack or something like that. So I've got this and I've got some like funky uh, lo-fi compressor on it. There's some really cool effects that you can add to all of your channels. MFX when you, you look at you look at it and you uh, shift sound and then you find your MFX and there's loads to play with. So yeah, so I've got my little shaker here and I'm just putting that um, like a, on the first piece of the bar there. And then little hi-hat again just drawing it in painting by numbers here with my uh you know which is cool and then i select the next track and the next track is the uh little vocal sample then and on this on this track here this is a drum track because i've got all these samples loaded in these are all my samples now so it's my second track and so cool, we've got like filter and stuff here. So yeah, I start drawing that in. And then another drum track, so I just select that. Oh, it's all been hit in my bag, the little mix I did. Let me pull these down. Got my kick drum, so same thing here now. Kick drum, snare. And then, this is really cool. So this is actually one of the updates which I do in the performance. If I go to chord mode here, check this out. It's like a repeated note function. And now I'm just going to record that real time. So I hit record. So I do that a bit later on in my performance. But while I'm on the drum track, I thought I'd show you. part I put down is the bass kind of synthy sound so out of the pad modes then I'm going to go to the note mode and then um, I know it's down two octaves and... and this is just one of the built-in sounds from the 707 um, seventh stack bass is what it's called and have I got any effects on it? I don't think there's any effects on that. So um, yeah, cool. Now this is where, uh, uh, now obviously that is not a one bar uh, pattern. It's actually uh, four bars. So what I'm gonna do now is,
got those loaded up and then this is where it starts to get even cooler so yeah this is one of the updates now that we can run the vocal through the 707 like a mixer which is awesome because I can use the sends the delay send um, you can assign um, any of these knobs to any parameters that you want to so I've got reverb send here and then I'm using this like really funky little modulation delay. So you could go crazy with this effect if you want to. But this track here, track uh, seven, um, is um, an audio track. And I've set the input for the this audio track uh, as the output of this one. So basically anything I sing now down this line, I can record into this channel. So that's what I do when I'm performing. I put this back to one bar. some of the vocal effects here um, but also I like kind of do some add some extra parts so on the drum channel here I'm using the repeated note feature again for the extra hi-hat stay wild on the 707 that's kind of how I put it together I know I just did that in 10 minutes but um, obviously I did practice quite a lot for the performance and uh, I didn't just rock up and sit there and make it up and then film it that would be a lie um, I rehearsed quite a bit for it but yeah um, you know me guys I love all this fun stuff that you can perform with um, it's been really good to collaborate with Roland on this video and if you like that song um, I'm gonna put the, a sample pack for, from it um, available now over on my Patreon um, there's loads more tutorial content over there so uh, if you guys are wanting to learn in this kind of weird time in our lives um, there's loads of stuff over on my Patreon and um, yeah, just want to say thanks to Roland and um, yeah, go check out new update out today for the 707. Um, loads of other cool stuff that I could probably talk about all day long. But yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody. I'll see you very soon. Mwah.